what's fascinating too is the younger generation. We see younger kids wanting to come back to the family farm, get involved with dad, where it's a little more interesting and um, because they, they love the technology, they understand it, they get it. Meet milk producer Mike Garner of Hagler Creek Farms. His operation opened a 750 cow robotic dairy last November and so far... This is phenomenal what this technology can do with the cow. They're quiet, they're content. They don't know that if it's raining or shining, they just, they have feed, they have air blowing across them, they're comfortable. The dairy also operates a conventional milk barn where a strict daily schedule is followed. Not so with robots milking. We just don't push them. You know, in the other barns, we push them. They're on a schedule. We milk them three times a day, no matter what. And up here, the schedule's theirs. In fact, most of them, uh, they come in more times than they get milk. We, we average about 2.7, 2.8 refusals a day per cow in the barn, which means they've been milked too recent, and the robot just kicks them out. From input costs and feed mixtures to output yields and health issues, everything is collected and analyzed from a computer for herd management. And the lack of a stable workforce to milk the cows is now a thing of the past. Labor is obviously a big one. It's getting, it's getting harder to, to find people that want to do the hard work continuously. Garner says the barn is still in the learning curve of all that robotic milking can offer the producer. He's confident that in time, his cows will beat the 90 pounds of milk per day averaged at his other conventional milk barn. We're, we're not beating that yet, but we're confident that we will and we'll have longer uh, longevity out of the cow. Melinda Wolf with Dairy West says she is seeing more and more interest in robotics across Idaho and Utah. It does come up a lot. I think there's a lot of interest in the field. I think that um, it varies from the different size of operations. I tend to see more robotic farms on smaller operations where there might be two to five hundred cows or less than a thousand cows. Um, but the interest is there and I think especially as um, labor, challenge, labor challenges be, continue to be an issue, um, I think more you'll see more and more robotic farms coming into play. Idaho ranks third in the nation in milk production. For the voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.